Hi everyone, my name is Sam, I'm the owner of Comic Sam's Crafts, and today I'm going to show you how to stitch on the spiral details for my snail bookmark pattern. To do this, you will need snail shell, obviously, um, some black crochet thread, and an embroidery needle. This is where the third round ends, um, and I'm going to do the counterclockwise one because you want one that goes counterclockwise and then you want one that goes clockwise. Um, but to start, you... Oh, on. You take your embroidery needle and pull it up through the center hole. Move just a little bit, that way you can tie. Um, and then you're gonna want to go into this hole right here like this, because um, remember you need to be able to spiral it out, um, so you don't want to go into this one because then you won't uh, be able to do a smooth spiral. And then go up through this hole, and then once you get those done you can actually do the down and up in the same, so you go into the same hole that the previous uh, line went into and then you just go out the next hole like this and pull it tight and then just keep doing this all the way around And there you have the counterclockwise spiral. Um, when I'm doing the clockwise one, instead of going out this way, I go out this way and to this stitch. So it would go here and then around, and then here is where it would go to between the second and the third round. Um, and then I think it ends about here um, for the clockwise one. Alright, so to finish it off, um, once you have the spiral completely done, um, I just turn it inside out and I take my embroidery needle and do this to get it closer to where the other end is and then just tie the two ends together and cut off the excess. So the inside should look like this, you've got um, the excess. Um, but it's knotted so it shouldn't come loose. Um, now the uh, clockwise or the, the counterclockwise one is the one where I leave this long tail so that I can sew the two sides together. Um, so I don't need the tail from the middle so I can just cut that off. Um, but the clockwise one I don't leave any ends there's no tails on the clockwise one. Um, so I do the same thing with the outside end that I did with the end of the black crochet thread and I just get it towards the middle and then I tie it to the middle tail of the tan yarn. And there you have it, a completed snail shell um, for my snail bookmark pattern, um, which you can find on both Etsy and Ravelry.